Okay, so here's the deal, guys. I'm getting prayers answered because I pray and I know how to use the codes to talk to God above. So, let's get this answered, this question that God, John Sagara has asked and posed. Do you think the big God of the universe cares what we do with our little willies? Well, guess what? Your little willy is a steering mechanism, my friend. It's to steer you out of really bad, lowly situations where the snake has you distracted in the gravity well that is life. Because life is in the light when you're awake and your light is on. And God answers your prayers when you're not a hater. Point. Score. Anyways. Dear John. God doesn't care what you do with your willies as long as it doesn't affect anyone else adversely. Because Adam of the Garden of Eden was only removed by his own recourse. And Adam is an addict to diction, which is other men's words and the rules written by other men. The snake offered the fruit, which was the apple in the Garden of Eden, which was so informative, informative, and it allowed Adam to be an addict and reversed from that inverted state that is Eden, where you invert the mind and talk to God, you no longer see God in Eden if you take the fruit from others that men offer and become disconnected from Eve, which is your feminine mind or your curvy thinking lines because you only think in straight lines like one direction or the other you can't curve the lines that disconnects you and reduces a man's soul to nothing absolutely zero zero is encompassed by infinity which is two and that puts you to the left of God. But when you're three high and to the right, you don't really care about your secondary organs anymore. They become less of the equation and your mind and your body and your soul become more with God. And suddenly, sex and the position where you put your little dicks is unimportant to you and it's unimportant to God even less. There is your answer, my friend. So open a book and become addicted to diction, which is other men's words, and take the fruit of the states, I mean the snakes, the Garden of Eden, and over-educate your mind so that you only read from left to right. <laughs> Stroke it. That's what they want you to do. That's what you've been instructed to do. And it takes you out of the Garden of Eden. John Sagara. That is the answer to the prayer that you pose. Time to fly. You gotta get out.